Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I do quite a lot of work on that rotating welding table I started doing. Um, when I find a white motor, I get an adapter plate made and an adapter coupling. I show quite a lot of that. Um, my niece, Lily, and her friend came down today and they sort of blackmailed us into cutting some unicorn figures out of some plate steel with a plasma cutter for them. And once I'd done that, they kindly did the draw for us for this week's prize, which was a Mr. Tulio Vernia. So I think I'll, I'll show that straight away. Hi, my name's Lily, and this is my friend Soraya, and we're doing the double boost weekend draw. And this week, the prize is a Vernia. John. Three. What does it say? John. Beanin. Beanin. John. Jan. That's Jan Beanin. That'll be a uh, the Norwegian, aren't it? Oh yeah. Um, John uh, made um me and my friend unicorns on the plasma cutter. That's what you need for. That's going to make a very happy. There's a baby unit for there as well. That was great, thanks very much for that. Uh, one thing I will mention, before they took the unicorns away, the real point on its on its horn on the front, I bent the end of that so it wasn't a real a real sharp end. Because somebody's bound to comment on it. But I did bend the end of that so the end was blunt and it was probably as safe as it, it could be made to be. I'm going to do another draw this week. I'm going to carry on doing draws as long as people keep sending us things to, to do draws with. And uh, this week's draw is going to be for another vernia. It's a vernia that I got given and it was a little bit rusted up. Uh, Bob's had it away and cleaned it up. It's a burn vernia with a difference. It's an actually, it's an internal vernia for measuring bores. It does do external as well, but it's, I'll get a close up and show you how this works. It's a very nice bit of gear. Uh, that's what's going to be given away this week. As usual, if you want a chance of winning that, all you have to do is send me an email, that's my email up there. Email with your name, like your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Uh, your name goes into the bucket. If your name's pulled out, I'll post it off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. As I've always said, it's just a, a way of me saying thanks for all the help I've had. I mean, I have got an internal hernia, the same as this one. It's slightly better than this one, it's, it's a little bit longer. But that's going to be a real nice prize for somebody. And if you win this and you don't want it or you've got one, give it to somebody that needs it. The vernier measures metric or imperial between the two flats. But these two rounded parts here, that's actually 250 thou thick, a quarter of an inch. And the thing is you can use it to measure an internal like that. It's also got a vernier adjuster on there so you can really get it to be a nice fit. Then you can even put a, a micrometer on there 
to get a outside reading using a little bit like a snap gauge I suppose anyway it's in real good condition very nicely cleaned up and sorted out by my friend Bob it comes in a box as well it's not the, the right box for it but it, uh, it has got a plastic case to keep it nicely protected The output shaft on this motor has got a standard 8mm right hand thread on it. At the end of the thread there's a tapered spline which is what the wiper motor drive linkage couples onto. What I want to do is just screw a bar straight onto there. I'll probably just machine end that off and use that. So what I want to do is try and take the pinion out and machine this down to there to a nice square shoulder. Just so when the Adapt that screwed on, it's got something square to sit on now. Obviously at the minute it will it'll go onto that taper and it's not going to be true. But if I can machine a shoulder down there, it's going to run nice and straight. There was some rivets in the back, I've drilled the rivets out and there's four little torx bolts to hold the cover on. I would think it'll be a plastic gear in here they normally are. There used to be brass on some of the older, or bronze on some of the older white motors, but it's all fantastic plastic now. Right, that's the plastic gear and the metal part here, that's actually the, the metal wiper track uh, for the intermittent wipe on the switch. Right, so basically I need to carefully hold that in the four jaw chuck, clock this in, centre drill it and just machine that spline off there down to a nice square edge. Right, I've managed to get the, the end of the spindle clocked in within sort of quarter of a thou. It looks like it's running nice and true. I haven't got a really tight hold on this, so I'm going to gently countersink it, put a live centre in, and I just want to machine off that little taper there to give a nice square shoulder. Really gently because it's a proper pissy little centre drill. But he only has one ambition in life, and that's to snap off in the hole and to do on a regular basis. Right. So now we've got a centre in there. I'm going to use my best centre. gentle grip on it. I'm not sure how hard this is going to be, probably quite hard. I'm giving it a try with this hardening tool, it's got a nice square edge on it. Oh that's hard. Oh dear me, that's severely hard. That. Right. We're going to need a tip tool under that. You can feel it case hardened because it's quite soft once you get under the skin. Right, 
that metal's gone quite thin there, but that's still more than enough to, to do what it's got to do. I'll just make sure I can get, get my nuts go right down there before I take it out of the chuck. A little bit more, there's not much. That's it. So now the piece I screw on will go down into that nice square shoulder. It's just a little tiny rag on there. Okay, you can see the worm on the motor driving the driving the pinion. And depending on which way you put your two wires on, it reverses the direction of the motor and obviously I'll make a turn so the piece I put on the end of there tightens on. I've seen these motors used for drives on Miller machine. X and Y axis, they work quite well. A very talky little motor. There's also quite a decent motor that comes out of a, a car seat. Uh, mechanism make a car seat go back and forward. DC 12 volt DC motors. This one actually says on there, it's got right on. Made in England. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing anymore. This is not the best used to be on this. It could be a lot worse. I was watching on television the other night and there was a, a little lad on there, you had no hands. And you complain because you've got a sore finger in. I think really we've got a, a lot to be thankful for in some ways. I certainly owe somebody worse off. Right. So that's the first little bit of the puzzle done. At the end of the thread there's a tape I'd splain, which is what the wiper motor drive linkage couplers onto. What I want to do is just screw a bar straight onto there. I'll probably just machine end that off and use that. So what I want to do is try and take the pinion out and machine this down to there to a nice square shoulder. Just so when the adapter's screwed on it's got something square to sit onto. Obviously at the minute it will it'll go onto that taper and it's not going to be true. But if I can machine a, a shoulder down there it's got to run nice and straight. Key where should simply the key should simply pull out the normally do like that. Knock the bearing off. Quite a nice little bearing, I'll put that in the collection of bearings I've got. 